it's one. been an interesting debate we've been having uh, from our uh, viewers this morning. Mirroring what Nick's saying there, being down on the beach, Wendy says, uh, cull the seagulls. They swoop down on small kids, take anything in their hands. My chihuahua was nearly taken one. I had to hit it with a lead. And yet Julie says, there shouldn't be a cull on seagulls. They're beautiful, intelligent birds. Their habitat is being taken away from them, so they're becoming more tame and more hungry. Well, they are a protected species, the herring gull is, anyway. And it's very important that we can actually take some action to try and stop them from being quite so aggressive. So one of the things that I called for in the debate yesterday was making sure that they replaced the eggs with dummy eggs and they could actually maybe local authorities could also do things on rooftops as well. well and, and by replacing the egg with the dummy egg does the seagull only way lay one egg uh, in, in its... Well what it, what it does is it goes and sits on the egg and it sits there and it sits there and sits there and then of course um, when the egg does not hatch... It won't lay anymore. It won't, it won't exactly so, yeah. Have you been so, attacked by a seagull? No I haven't but I was with a friend of mine doing some campaigning out in Tor Bay and uh, he was eating his fish and chips, put them to one side, and the next thing which happened was that uh, the, the gull came down and uh, took his fish and chips away from him. But so it's not that particular incident no, that sparked this campaign, is no, it? You've I've heard got, of some pretty horrific stories. I, I, I've got some awful stories in my constituency where uh, a pensioner was attacked by a seagull and was given a huge great gorge over her, her head and all of those kind of things as well. We need to actually protect much more uh, the bags and the uh, place where they actually get into. So it's about making sure that you don't just leave your black plastic bags out on the, on the street, mm. that you actually take some action to try and do that. And I think the takeaway uh, shops have actually got some responsibility. Well, the irony is about all of this, that um, herring gulls are protected species, whereas of course hedgehogs, which have declined by 30% over the last 10 years, frankly, they are not a protected species, and that's another big campaign which I've probably been rather involved in. Do you get people saying, uh, in this time of Brexit and controversy over Donald Trump and his travel ban, why are we dedicating time in Parliament to talking about seagulls? I do have some people who end up by saying that, but I have to say at the same time, I have an awful lot of people who write to me saying we're very concerned about the seagull and how we're being attacked by them.